Hello Aries and welcome to your December 2021 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card that I have is the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. Now, right away, Nine of Swords, we know it's anxiety here. You know, you look at that person in her bed, sleepless nights. How am I going to do this? What, you know, what is life all about? It can be existential um, questions, but just all of that angst and worry of an overactive uh, mind here. With the Six of Swords, well, that's when the mind finally reaches the heart chakra and is now able to just turn the page using its willpower that's why you see the man here as a wand bringing every parts of us divine feminine divine inner child here to push ourselves to the next shore after that i have the magician and the moon so of course i think that this was speaking a lot about the moon per se okay when we don't have any information out there giving us okay this is what it's all about it's not the sun it's the moon therefore our inside how we feel the invisible part of us our vibration our beliefs and so on this is what is up front not uh, what is obvious out there, what I should do, uh, and, and so on. Not the sun, but the moon. Under our uh, nine of swords and six of swords, I have the ace of pentacle. So the ace of pentacle can be the new beginning of something, something solid, something concrete. It can be a project or just like the beginning of your next a stage in life and so on and under that I have the seven of cups so that is a very good reason to have anxiety when we have the seven of cups this is Venus in Scorpio so you can imagine Venus which is you know uh, rules the pentacles there so um, you know unconditional love and abundance and so on in Scorpio, where Scorpio, in this case with the Seven of Cups, this is when our old wounds in our waters haven't died, are still active, we're still entertaining them, and so on. So when Venus arrives, therefore, an opportunity for abundance, or just the mere idea of abundance, uh, and so on, arrives, all of these old wounds come up to the surface and so here we're projecting all the possibilities in front of us so that's why it's very exhausting it's very uh un insecure okay what what can i do what what can happen and so on the fact that the six of sword is there there's this kind of release and finally I'm not letting my mind go in a crazy wild uh, projection with the emotional charge behind it creating a fog I'm just turning the page the magician there can be more empowered because he needs his four elements to be top-notch his cup cannot be seven cups in a cloud and his sword cannot be nine swords of anxiety. What do you think is going to create uh, with those types of vibrations? So here, the fact that there's this, okay, I'm turning the page on a period of my life. I'm finding serenity, peace. I'm heading towards it. I'm using my willpower to go towards it. Under our magician, I have the Knight of Cups. I'm deciding to actually follow what I feel, what I love. And that can mark the end of, here I have seven of swords, ten of swords, and the eight of wands. The ten of swords here marks the end of that nine of swords with the seven of swords. Seven of cups, seven of swords. 
complete disempowerment due to our emotional projections, due to our past wounds, traumas, bad experiences that we're projecting in front of us and therefore we feel powerless and that becomes our reality. Ten of Swords, it's like we're realizing, no, that does not have to be my reality. It's not because I've lived that for 20 years, 30 years, and so on, that the next 20 or 30 are going to be uh, like that. Eight of Wands, after this realization, I'm going to start making move, bringing my fire, my Aries fire, into concrete moves that are actually going to create this beautiful dynamic because we're paralyzed in the seven of cups we have a hard time actually investing our willpower into something because uh, of all the emotional projections in it okay but eight of wands we're doing it we're in action manifesting action bringing our heart forward like this so under the moon I have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups and the Fool. So going from anxiety and emotional projections to I have faith, I have joy within myself, I'm actually going to attract the people around me, deciding to be happy, deciding that what is out there is going to be wonderful and I'm having faith. So, maybe the end of juggling here. Let's clarify this for Aries. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Aries. Cats are playing. Or fighting. Okay. Okay. Nine of sword, six of sword. Nine, oops, of sword, six of sword. King of pentacle. And here I have... Uh, the High Priestess that shows herself a bit, uh, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So yes, time to leave behind. See, Six of Swords, it's all about leaving the, the choppy waters where our emotions are up and down and so on. Leaving all of that behind, that means agreeing. Our mind is finally agreeing. Eight of Cups, we're using our willpower again, because again, this character has a wand in his hand. Using our willpower to leave the emotional baggage behind. And here, dropping, because you're at the end of a cycle of wands, of how you carry your energy. King of Pentacle, this has to do with maybe, you know, the empire you've built. Um your capacity to generate security, uh, financial abundance, uh, your commitments, uh, and so on. The long-term commitments and so on. Let's look at the magician. This is like, okay, I'm, I'm leaving behind what, or when it comes to the pentacle, brought me so much anxiety and worry and and emotional projections that can, you know, dreams and, and fantasies, but also nightmares and, and, and whatnot, okay? Oop. Ah, magician, we have justice. Rebalancing, actually concretely manifesting balance in our lives. And here I have the six of cups to go with that. Um, emotional balance of... Uh, how you feel emotionally, okay? Because this determines right away um, the type of people you will have around you, okay? Let's look at the moon here. Maybe getting out of a period where 
you know, it was mostly what do I feed? Do I feed my anxieties, my fear, my gloom? Or do I feed joy, balance, empowerment? What do I feed within myself? The moon. Show me the moon. And here I have the magician and the page of wands. So that ten of wands releasing heaviness so that you can be light and in your power. Heading on your new path. Okay? Your new passion, your new way of bringing your fire, Aries. So finishing maybe a period where you were under the moon in that moon quest where nothing was obvious out there. You only stuck with how you feel trying to, is this my intuition or is this just a projection of my pains? Let's look at that Ace of Pentacle. Not knowing how to uh, start something that is concrete because when we're looking at it, uh, yeah, something that, see that Ace of, Pe of Pentacle? I have the Tree of Pentacle with it. By itself, See, that would be building from a seed, from something that, uh, you know, and having faith, uh, fool the fool, actually jumping into a new project, <clears throat> a, new, uh, a new cycle in your life, a new, something solid and concrete here. It can be on, on any level. Um, but if there's anxiety and, and emotional projections in the thing, it's impossible to start it. It's unstable. And you can't have faith in it. Seven of Cups. You can't manifest it. Magician. It's all about magic, you know, manifesting it. And the thing is, here I have the Queen of Wands with the Devil. Understanding that a lot of those cups that had snake in the ground and, and things like that, okay, are from things that you've attracted towards you, Queen of Wands, things that you've attracted towards you and that were kind of in a karma, okay, the devil. In a sense where if in your karma, um, you know, Maybe you have, um, you've been abandoned, or maybe you've been um, mistreated, unrespected, um, anything like that, okay? And you end up believing that that is reality. Then you're going to attract towards you always the same lesson, the same karma. Why are they always the same? Why do I always make the same mistake? Why do I never jump on good opportunities because I'm afraid that they'll turn out like the past and I, you know, it creates anxiety and so on. This is really, see the magician again for the third time. This is going to be for you to regain your power of this is what I want, this is what I'm going to manifest. Magician and justice. So that things can be balanced, not completely, oh, I was screwed, I've been had, uh, I can't rely on anything, I can't trust. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. Here, Knight, oh, okay, yeah, it's over, the world. And here is again the, so Knight of Cups. So this month, you're going to be gaining in your power. Queen of Pentacle with the Knight of Cups. And here I have the Four of Pentacle. And I think it's going to be less. I am. Uh, there's a lot of fear here with the Four of Pentacle. And Nine of Swords and Seven of Cups. It's like we're paralyzed. We're afraid to move and open ourselves like that. Because we're afraid to live other, you know, things, karmic things like him. And so, and his power is to tell us that it's always going to be like that. Oh, me, it's always going to be like that. As long as you believe it, that's what you attract, and that's what is your reality. The Queen of Pentacles here, 
that's and see king of pentacle queen of pentacle even if you're a fire sign this is your relationship with earth with this reality here is this reality unfair is this reality life itself is it miserable filled with projections and things like that and anxiety or can you take your power and make it amazing beautiful for you an amazing experience so for that you need to release the disempowerment that you don't have the power to do that finish that cycle of belief ten of swords so that you can start making moves that are actually going to be fruitful Yes, so here, Tree of Wands and the Sun. This is having a positive outlook in life. And you know what? As long as I'm projecting the worst nightmares out there in my future, oh, I'm going to end up like this and like this. This is what I've been manifesting. And the devil here was telling me, well, that's it for you, Aries. Here, changing your outlook and what can come towards you. What can be in those boats here? And they're rising, coming towards me. The sun. Yes. Not the moon anymore. I'm getting out of the moon. I'm manifesting the sun. So queen of wands and we have the three of cups, three of cups. Joy. Manifesting joy, celebrating life. That's what's going to be in the, in the boats coming towards me. The next 40 years of my life or 30 years or whatever, even if it's the next five days, is going to be joyful. And I'm going to celebrate the wonderful adventure of living. Queen of Wands, Tree of Cups. So that's why you're going to actually start attracting joy and celebration towards you. Because if not, we cannot be open to what life has to offer um, if we project these things. So when it comes to that, of course, Two of Swords and the Magician again, because I guess we needed to see it again. Uh, what is my truth? If I decide that the reality is just a living hell, with gloom and doom in front of me. I'm manifesting it. Where I'll be sacrificing and hurting and, and people will be screwing me and, and so on. That's what I'm going to manifest. That's the power of the magician. He is in charge of his reality. It's not things happen to him. He is in charge of his reality. And with this I have the Queen of Cups. So... It's all like, yeah, I want to feel happy. I want to feel joyful. I want to bring my heart out there and do what I like and enjoy it. So, the fool. Queen of Cups. Yes. Having faith because... You are actually going to honor how you feel. You are going to look at how you feel and choose to be happy. And yes, that is doable. Because even if we go through, we've gone through, I'm not saying if you're going through a huge grieving right now and it's not like, okay, I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the moment you open your eyes, you have the choice to bring your mind into thinking of all the possible hurtful things, hardship, challenges that will be in your day. Or you can choose to look at, okay, how am I going to be amazed today? What wonderful people, loving people am I going to meet today? 
the the sun on the trees the 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 dog crossing the road all of these are gifts of joy and beauty what am i going to manifest towards enchantment my enchantment today that is a choice and i think that you are re-empowering yourself after a long period of being stuck in your projections and in your moon. That, that's why you would have been juggling, because even if you know that here, it's a second uh, stage to be able to actually embody it and do it. And that would be rising above here in your higher self instead of in your baggage in your animalistic side and then stopping juggling to concepts of what pentacles can be what reality can be so a readjustment of your queen and king of pentacle a rebalancing of what you allow yourself to receive to live to enjoy you know they're epicurean seeing the sun in front of you and participating in it manifesting it so i'm going to call it manifesting joy because this is what you're going to realize this month and start doing so beautiful all right aries uh on this i'm sending you all my love and light and uh, and happy um winter solstice of course on the 21st it's the end of the night to start bringing the sun in our lives so a beautiful night to put your intentions of what you want to grow and expand uh, a little announcement also i am speaking at the international conference on spiritual technology on the 17th of december the conference is the 17th 18th and 19th i'm leaving the website below if you want to go check the other and uh, speakers it's um, a beautiful group of amazing people from uh, different traditions and um, all the information is on the website um, and so if you want also if you want a private reading there's going to be my email you write to me I write to you back um, and apart from that also thank you for the ones of you who gave donations so this month the new moon in Sagittarius is on the 4th of December that is when I am going to uh, do a little ceremony to give you back so on this my beautiful Aries all my love and light happy Christmas, Hanukkah, holiday, whatever you celebrate. And I'll see you next month. All right?